Hey guys, I want to show you my new truck and trailer setup for this year. Um, last year I worked out of the pickup truck and um, it got really crowded really fast. So I was looking for a van this year. I couldn't find what I wanted. So I ended up buying this trailer. Uh, I think it's going to work out real well. Got a new truck. Well, new to me. And a new trailer. It's a 6x12. Um, obviously it's missing the lettering. That's a big deal. But I'll get that done hopefully next week. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. So um, show you around a little bit. Maybe you can get a few ideas or, or please give me some ideas. Because a lot of this stuff I'm just guessing how I want to set it up. Um, 32 foot, 20 foot, 16 foot, and 8 foot ladders on top. And uh, come back here and show you what I got. Um, I have it set up pretty much for pressure washing stuff on one side and window cleaning stuff on the other. Um, back on the door, I have a couple of wands, a couple of spoons for mixing up chemicals, a garden hose for doing different things, you know, mixing chemicals or cleaning up. Back in this little cup, I just have different nozzles and downstream adapters and all that kind of stuff. Um, Three quarter inch supply hose to run everything. I got a hundred foot on there and I have um, some backup hose if I need more. 200 foot of uh, the Nomar pressure washer hose and I got the ball valve set up on there. I saw that on uh, Michael Chrysler's YouTube channel. It's a really good channel. Definitely check it out if you haven't. It's got some really cool ideas. About 200 foot of water fed pole hose up there. Um, got my gloves drying. <laughs> Um, this year I went ahead and put a um, bypass on my downstreamer, so I think that's really going to be cool. And I also put a remote control solenoid for turning my soap on and off. I usually turn it on and off with a J-Rod adapter, but I really didn't like that setup as much, so I thought if I did it this way, it might save me a few trips to the truck. Um, with the machine I have, I have a small machine. It's only a four gallon a minute machine. I, I can't rinse as fast as other guys. So I usually only soap one side of the house at a time and I uh, keep I'm running back and forth in the truck constantly. So um, this I have set up, this is my soap line here. I just take it out and run it through a hole in the floor and into my soap bucket. And it's on this solenoid that's in a constant closed state. So when I want soap, um, I just have a little key fob here. I hit the button and it turns my soap on and also turns this light on on top of the truck or the trailer rather. So I can just look around the corner and see if the soap is on or off. And I don't have to sit there for 10 seconds waiting to see if it starts or stops in my line. So I don't know if that's going to work out. It might corrode up really bad and end up being just a big mess, but I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, got all my yard signs there from Tim and uh, here's my unit I got it fed with a one inch supply line um, Four gallon a minute machine. I know when I upgrade To a bigger machine. I probably can't keep it on this table like this But for what I have now, I think it'll work. Okay. Uh, I got the exhaust plumbed out through the floor and I got that uh, heat tape on it which this stuff actually has been smoking really bad. I've only run it a couple times, but they say that'll burn off. So we'll see about that. Different buckets and stuff. And then this has got a spare set of keys for everything right there. And then this has just got all kinds of sockets and different wrenches, you know, hand tools. My polisher for the hard water stuff and the drills, you know, all that kind of thing. Um, I really don't need this in here, but I had the room. I could use it. So we'll see. That might end up coming out. Um, I broke my pull cord three or four times last year. So this year I got a piece of steel cable in there and a big piece of steel. So hopefully that'll stop that from happening as much. Um, I have a fitting on here splitting off my supply. Half of it goes over here to just a garden hose on the back door for mixing chemicals and kind of stuff. And then the other half feeds my water-fed pole. Um, 
I like to keep the doors closed while I'm working. I've had some stuff stolen in the past. So I have a little access door right here that I run my hoses out of and it's got a roller. So I can pull the hoses and it's not a bunch of friction. Tried that a couple times, that worked real good. Uh, longer pressure washer wands up there. Little vacuum, 30 gallon chemical tank. Uh, Whisper Wash Classic. That's new to me this year. I'm really excited about that. I got a step stool, six foot ladder, another 150 foot of pressure washer hose, garden hose, saw horses. Uh, over here on the ceiling, I have my water fed pole, a couple of regular poles. My vacuum is right up there, extra brushes, pump up sprayer. And then I got two half cube DI tanks. I can pretty easily take these apart or run them together. I'm going to fool with that a little bit this year and see what works better for me. And then just all kinds of storage and stuff. Um, I got chemicals mostly down here. Which I noticed today that a couple of these jugs of chemical were sweating. That's some um, F13 and some Eliminator. They made a little puddle on the floor that looked like it was water. So I'm not sure why that was happening. It wasn't really that hot here today. But... Uh, different chemicals over here, F10, F8, all that stuff. And then up here I have all kinds of fittings, hose connectors, water fed pole parts. And I just put them in these little fishing tackle boxes. I had a bunch of these laying around. And it's a pretty good way to set your fittings up. So I got that. I rode down the road today for about 30, 40 minutes. Everything rode really good. Uh, I got the trailer weighed, so I was well under the weight, so that was good. Uh, different kind of storage over here, rain gear, pump-up bottles, rags, got microfibers, scrims, unger pads, gutter stuff, strip washers, scrub pads, shoe covers, all kind of stuff up here. A uh, toolbox, and then this is a two-gallon container that I keep my window cleaning solution in. And it's plumbed out right here to this nozzle. So when I go in the house and I'm using my spray bottle, instead of having to come out and mix up a whole bucket of solution, I can just bring my spray bottle and fill it up right here. And uh, it'll save me a lot of waste. Different strip washer, T-bars and squeegee channels. And there's all my squeegee rubber back there. I buy 36 and just cut it down. Just a little clothespin for drying my scrim in between jobs. Tool belt. And then this is my uh, eliminator, cling on, gutter grenade, all that kind of stuff. I feel like that's sweating a little bit too, so it might just be the chemical sweating. And this is the supply line from the chemical tank. So all I have to do is bring my bucket back here, pull this hose out, flip the valve. Fill up two gallons of bleach and then just put it right in here so it doesn't leak all over the trailer. So anyway, uh, that's what I got going this year. Please feel 